No, Dana could stop it from happening. He could put his body in front of it if he wanted. But I think that's very astute analysis, what the, the, the analysis you just went through. I think it's on the money. I think that's what's happening. And I, I, I would say that Dana White is, is an amalgam, uh, a cross between uh, um, um, Goodell in the sense that the brand is what the shield is what's important in the UFC. But also there's some David Stern, if not Adam Silver in there, which is he does promote the fighters and their personalities. It's a one on one sport. There's no way around that. But anyway, that's also useful. You have to be invested emotionally in these characters. And I think Dana also does a very good job of that. That said, I, I get what you're getting at, which is tight labor control and keeping that cost controlled is one of the things the UFC does very well and protecting their shield and their brand is very, it, there's another thing they do very well. And I think the reason this will happen is because Dana recognizes that this amplifies the UFC brand. And mm -hmm. there's very little downside. If Conor McGregor, excuse me, when Conor McGregor gets clowned by Floyd, Maywe Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Conor McGregor is not a professional fighter, not a professional boxer. Right. So it's okay. So as I say, if LeBron James can't hit Clayton Kershaw's fastball or, or curveball, big deal. He's not a baseball player. Um, so, so there's very little downside for the UFC in that respect. And yet there's a huge payday and an amplification generally of the UFC brand, which given the purchase of the UFC for over $4 billion is a good way to start positioning to get a return on investment. Uh, I, that's why it's going to happen. Dana's telling the truth when he says he's not doing another crossover fight. This is the one. I would add, per parenthetically, for now, given the circumstances of the world as it currently is, the fighters who exist in both sports, in MMA and boxing, Dana's Max, telling you the truth. With, for with now, the, with the this payday. is the only crossover fight. But I could see a circumstance in the future where there is another one. So when you talk about the labor control that the UFC had, has, with the payday that McGregor would get from this fight, is this his final fight? Does he even, are you, is, should Dana White be scared he won't even go back to the UFC? Because there will never be a day close to this as far as the check he'll cash. But he ain't never going to get another check like this because he's going to be embarrassed by Floyd, so the boxing money's going to end. Mm. Right. And, it, and he's going to have to make a living in the UFC. And from McGregor's point of view, the UFC, I don't care how much better it seems one guy or one gal is than the rest of them, than the pack, the margins are very actually small. Yeah. These are all world-class fighters. This is the major leagues, the UFC, and they're all de facto one-punch knockout artists, because if you get out of position by a hair, someone can submit you or otherwise end the fight. So Conor McGregor, even if he is the best in the weight class, and that's debatable, Nurmagomedov is, you know, maybe beats him straight up um, when he comes back. The point is, he could lose for $5 million, whatever he's making per fight, um, his next fight or one of his next two fights to someone where it's not an event like it is to lose to Floyd Mayweather for 25 million plus or whatever it is he'll be paid.